It's more than a week since European Union leaders issued a call for aid corridors and humanitarian pauses in Gaza. And speaking at a diplomatic conference in Brussels on Monday, the EU's foreign policy chief lamented the lack of progress. The unfolding tragedy in the Middle East is the outcome of a collective political and moral failure, which the Israeli and the Palestinian people are paying a high price for it. And this price will continue increasing if we refuse to see the situation as straightforwardly. This moral and political failure is due to our real lack of willingness to solve the Israeli-Palestinian problem. Joseph Burrell suggested that Israel could suspend its military operation, which has killed 10,000 Palestinians so far, and in return, the Red Cross would get access to the captives held by Hamas. He said, call it a truce, a window, whatever, but we need that violence recedes and that international humanitarian law is being respected. Those calls were echoed by the European Commission President, Ursula von der Leyen, who's announced a big increase in EU aid spending. By doing so, the European Union would spend a total of 100 million euro in humanitarian aid for the civilians in Gaza. And at the same time, we are working with Israel, Egypt and the United Nations to let more convoys into Gaza, including through corridors and pauses for humanitarian needs. But Israel remains determined to destroy Hamas, whose October 7th attack left 1,400 people, mostly civilians, dead in Israel and saw over 240 people taken captive. But Joseph Burrell issued a warning, saying that overreaction by the Israelis in the end makes them lose the support of the international community. There is no military solution to the conflict, he added. Paul Brennan, Al Jazeera. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.